Well, it is true that some truly profound statements were made by the statesmen who debated in this courtroom, as we've heard William Jennings Bryan, Clarence Darrow, great orators of their day. And tonight, we thought we would like to share with you some of the thought-provoking quotations from these great orators. So tonight, we're going to hold the first Tokens Scopes trial quote off. I will provide a topic, and the Tokens players will provide a quote. Reading the words of Clarence Darrow is our own Dr. Mary Collins. Jenny Littleton will provide the words of William Jennings Bryan. And of course, no intellectual d debate would be complete without our own brother preacher. So let us begin. Topic number one. What is your stance on the existence of God? Mr. Bryan. The mass of mankind will continue to worship their creator and continue to find comfort in the promise of their savior that he has gone to prepare a place for them. Mr. Darrow. I am an agnostic. I do not pretend to know what many ignorant men are sure of. Brother Preacher. If God does not exist, then why the heck do I still have a job? <laughs> Think about it. <laughs> Go ahead. Next. <laughs> oh. Education. Mr. Bryan. If we have to give up either religion or education, we should give up education. Mr. Darrow. History repeats itself, and that's one of the things that's wrong with history. Brother Preacher. Two words. V-B-S. <laughs> oh. oh, I got this. Am I ahead so far? This is not a race, Brother Preacher. No one is ahead. I know, but if it was a race, would I be ahead right now? No. <laughs> Shut up. Next one, next subject, politics. Mr. Darrow. When I was a boy, I was told that anybody could become president. I'm beginning to believe it. Mr. Bryan. I hope the two wings of the Democratic Party may flap together. <laughs> Hold on. I'm sorry. When you said flap together, I couldn't help. I started thinking about my Aunt Irene and her bingo flaps. What, what are bingo flaps? You know, when old ladies win at bingo, they go, I won, I won. They start flapping. Like... <laughs> she got off the ground two times, I'll tell you right now. <laughs> What was the topic again? Politics. 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 Here we go. Is a... I believe we have a Christian duty to only vote for Christian politicians, which is why I never vote. <laughs> Think about it. I've got this one. Okay, now let's try this one. Communication. Mr. Bryan. Eloquent speech is not from lip to ear, but rather from heart to heart. Mr. Darrow. I have suffered from being misunderstood, but I would have suffered a hell of a lot more if I'd been understood. <laughs> Hold on, time out, time out. Are we supposed to say hell like that? I don't think we're allowed to do Brother that. Brother Preacher, you're speaking out of turn. I'm not cussing out of turn. <laughs> Mr. Darrow, the topic is the evolutionary family tree. If you take evolution and make it a crime to teach it in the public school. The next year, you can make it a crime to teach it in the church. Mr. Bryan. All the ills from which America suffers can be traced to the teaching of evolution. Brother Preacher. Thank you. Whenever I look uh, upon my evolutionary family tree, all I see is a whammo frisbee and a banged up kite. I don't understand it either, really. <laughs> Sometimes I just start talking and words just fly around, you know. <laughs> Whatever. Can I go first this time? Fine. <laughs> About time. Here we go. Brother Preacher. Yes. The topic is... Okay. <laughs> yeah, that, your topics don't scare me, okay? The topic is discourse. Discourse <laughs> is the toughest course... Into school. 
I'm lo- hit me again. Go again. I'm on a roll. Go ahead. Next topic. Here we go. Science. Is the second toughest course in this school. What are the odds of that happening like that? Oh, go on. Hit me again. Keep going. I'm on a roll. Go. Brother Peacher, you will have to behave, please, or you will have to leave the courtroom. Listen, I'm sorry, I'm just confused, okay? Why, why are you confused? Well, I don't know about anybody else here, but I, for one, am a little uncomfortable with the fact that Clarence Darrow looks so good in that skirt. <laughs> <laughs> and William Jennings Bryan kind of smells like strawberry shortcake. <laughs> really does. Mr. Darrow, the next topic. <laughs> Standing fast on principles. Pass. <laughs> Okay, one down, here we go. <laughs> Mr. Bryan. Never be afraid to stand with the minority when the minority is right. For the minority which is right will one day be the majority. Okay, I did not understand one word of that, okay. <laughs> Never be afraid of the minority. No, to stand to with s- the minority. To, s- to stand with the minority when, when the, the when the when the when the when the no when the no when the when the when the majority minority when the minority of the majority no just the minority when just the minority of the majority no okay this guy has a speech in pen of it he's an idiot <laughs> you you cannot call William Jennings Bryan an, an idiot well I bet it's okay with Clarence Darrow <laughs> actually I prefer moron but I'm okay with idiot. The defense rests. Who's the monkey now? That's it. I'm done. I'm done. Let's go. 